Hello and welcome back to some midday streaming. So we are going to, once I've got everything working on this, oh, fantastic. Uh, we're going to be doing some more streaming. So uh, we're going to carry on with the menus in Gran Turismo Sport. Uh, got some time off while the kids are at school. So let's head straight to the cafe. Check in with Luca and let's carry on. So menu book, AMG collection. So we've got to collect three AMGs now. So that'd be interesting. Uh, yeah, high performance brand of Mercedes. So three AMGs that we don't have. So that means we're going to have to go and drive them, or go and win them. Sorry. So let's see what we've got. What we got. What we got. They're all in Europe. We've got Nurburgring, Catalonia, and La Croc. Right, third place or higher to get a gift card. So it needs to be 700 PP or less uh, from Germany. Okay, so what we've got here, that's too much. Could go back to our Porsche. I think that's going to be the uh, most likely candidate at this point. Yeah, we'll go to the Porsche. We'll go and see if we can throw some mod modifications on this though, because um, it seemed to struggle last time. So let's see where we're at with this car. Uh, could do lightweight too. Got the computer. Got adjustable suspension. Got filter, exhaust, manifold. Brakes, yeah, brakes. Hmm, what should we do? What should we do? I feel like it just needs a bit more pep. So let's have a look at uh, high compression pistons. Because there's 408, 413 from camshafts. Yeah, we'll throw some cams in there. Pep the engine up a little bit more, and then we'll put a better clutch in it. Let's see, that should be peppy enough to hopefully get third. Although it says 700 PP we need, so I'm considering, do we uh, do we go full slick tyres on this thing? Let's take some more weight out of it, see if we can get close to 700 PP. 669. I'll take the high compression pistons while we're here. LSD is not going to offer us any performance benefits there. So what, we're 1,200, this takes it down to 1,000 kilos. Right, if we just stick on some hard, racing hard tyres, what do we get from that? Oh, come on, D-pad. We'll go over 705. Okay, let's run that. Giving away 25 PP by the looks of it. Which seems to be a fair wedge in this game. Right, Catalonia, third place or higher. Main rivals, 911 GT1. Come on! Right. So, as this is our career mode, we're going to have to use a manual gearbox. If the car's manual, we've got to use a manual. So, clutch, heel and toe, a whole lot. Five laps here at Catalonia. Screaming flat six in the back. Hard on the brakes, turn one. Yeah, we'll take that one. Ooh, gentle. Gently does it. Rear wants to go. We, yeah, it definitely wants to go there. Oh, there's a Carrera GT. First time I've seen that in the game. Would love me one of them. 911 GT3 RS. We've got the poor man's GT3 RS here. Come on. There we go. Pass the AMG GT. Ah, uh, we. There we 
Gotta go, nice. Gonna be hard on the brakes down here. We bit of oversteer on the exit. We're gonna hold third round here, are we? Looks like he wants to be in second, but kind of third gear corner. Back down to second. Smuggle ourselves up the inside of the E46 there. Whoa, curb there. Car did not like that curb. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, and have I over warmed the rear tyres? Car was really struggling there. But we're alive. Let's blast down, start, finish straight. 150. Nearly 160. Down a couple of gears. Up the inside of that 911. Right, let's see how the car feels through this long right-hander now. Now things should be warmed up. I think I could probably get on the power earlier there. Just didn't trust the car. Oh, ran out of track here. Ran out of track here. Oh. Completely ran out of track there. Don't know how we managed to keep hold of it there. Right, down the inside of this Porsche. And this E30 M3, who we've actually just completely slid into the side of. Onto the hour eight. He's kind of in the middle of the road. Come on, there we go. Right, top three are just ahead. Get the car turned in, sun's coming out outside. Take it nice and simple through here. That's, yeah, I think it is a third gear corner. Right, let's try and not unsettle the car completely over the curbs here. Can we go hop the centre there? Oh, we can, but it's kind of lifted up the rear of the car. Man. Oh, I've stalled it. Uh, that's going to cost us. I think we grounded out on the curb there. That's lost us a lot of time. What, 14 seconds odd? Whoa! Car's still got that mean streak in its rear end, that's for sure. Maybe more rear downforce would help this car. Oh, come on. Audi R8, give us a bit of space. There we go. Across the curves we go. Up a couple of gears. Oh, just struggling to get the right gears for the right corners here. Right, dispatch E30 M3. Right, there's the top three back ahead now. Too deep. Right. Right, let's try and get this chicane nailed this time around. Yeah. 
don't feel confident in the car going over those curbs like that. Alright, we can use all those ones. There we go, right up to second, third. Let's see what we can do the lap, remaining two laps. Looks like Coco Lopez is starting to pull away. Oh, come on, Patrick Blajan. He's in the same car as us. Yes, there we go, around the outside. Right, what's Coco Lopez in it? Is it an M4? Looks like we can catch him though. We. Yeah, we've got him. Yeah, we've got more mid corner speed than he has as well. He has got good straight line speed though. And four is turbocharged. Oh, come on. Yeah, we've got him this time though. Right, just need to do one more lap without dying. And we've got the win here. Started with left foot braking there and then realised that I needed to use a clutch. Right, up the gears, come on, turn her in. Slowly squeeze on the power, there we go. Right, another fastest lap. Right, let's try, just try and do a nice clean lap here. A little bit deep into turn one though. Did attack it pretty aggressively. Right, gotta be patient around here. bit too unimpatient there for me. Shadows coming in across the track. Ooh. I definitely find this game rewards you for getting used to the car. Just driving, getting seat time, feeling how all the cars feel different. Like some immediately feel balance and interesting and nice some feel the complete opposite and feel like a proper bag of spanners but then you can kind of kind of get to know your car a bit more just like in real life like when you drive a car every day you, you learn oh yeah it's it feels like this in this kind of situation and drives like this and behaves like this. And I definitely think that's what they're trying to almost teach you here. Rear tyres feel like that. Very hot or worn. Right, that last lap there felt quite a struggle shadows across the circuit look amazing though oh there we go that's the first first win of the uh, stream taking it home in the 911 gold trophy 40 grand no clean race race bonus so we missed out on that and we've got a uh, AMG GT S is it yeah GTS that helps us on our way to level 22. Right, let's see, next race. I want to try and get that clean race bonus this time. Right, Le Croc. Right, what is the GTS if we were to use it? 577. Okay, so it's 
good hundred PP off. Okay, I didn't see a 911 GT1. Did any of you guys? Four laps. No, there doesn't seem to be one in my lobby. Right, third place or higher. Not a track that I know well. It's a GT Sport DLC track, but as I say, it's not one that I know very well. Oi, we're already struggling. Too deep. Carrera GT struggling with that CC sixty three there. Might be a third gear corner, really. That one. Right onto the bridge we go. Flash of the headlights so he knows we're coming. Right, it's a right hander up here. Gonna go around the outside here. Oi, wee, wee. Whoa. Try and find where the apex is around here. Just trying to get the nose in with that. Got to add rear downforce on, didn't we? Right, let's try and blast. This should be flat. Don't trust it. It isn't for me. <laughs> wow. Right, that was tricky. Wow, Coke Lopez all the way down here in. 10th. Bear in mind he was second in the previous race. Don't know if he's had an issue or that's just where he starts. God, this game really teaches you a lot more about throttle control than GT Sport ever did. Right, E46, M3. There you go. That's the pass done. I hate this corner. There should be... A, I think they just should just put a curb stone there on the inside. It's like... It's just green asher turf. I suppose we are in France, which is the home of... Um... Oh, what's a French French GP track called? That's just tarmac and all stripy. Oh my God, that's just left me that has. Manny Cor Cor is where it used to be. Paul Ricard, that's it. There we go. Nice move. Job done. Right, E30, M3. Didn't stand a chance. Whoop. That's definitely a second gear corner. Right, let's try and get the nose in a bit better now. Right, this fast kink is far from flat for us. It's up to fifth. I'm just going to land out the throw. Okay, uh, back on. I think you could probably make it flat if you didn't care about surviving. Oh, a bit too deep there. Always a tricky one again to understand where to break because of it being so goddamn wide. Oh, gone wide. 
There we go. Just about survived that. Patrick ahead. There we go. Come on, power. There we go. Go around the outside of Patrick. Blajan. Right, the top two, Shigarara and Boudoir. Sideways in the wall, then. Power. Right. Bidvar and the AMG GTR. We know that thing's going to have plenty of power. We nearly went round then. I actually lost second place, Shigawara. He's trying to close us out though. Whoa, that bump! A little bump on the road there. Wow. That's made it harder for us, that's for sure. Right. Gonna have to catch them all up and do it all on the final lap by the looks of it. Did not want to bite in then. I think the physics model in GT7 definitely represent picks up more information that's on the track. It's almost like uh, the physics model instead of being at 16 hertz, this is like at 64 hertz. I'm picking up more details and the tracks are less that so physics models picking up that the tracks aren't completely beautifully piano smooth all right final lap there's leader still ahead boudoir and gtr Come on. That Porsche 911. Doing well. Had to give him space there. I thought he was going to hit the wall and bounce straight back into us. Right. Let's try and get these two done. Got the slipstream here, but we're gonna have to get on the brakes. GTR seems to be fast in a straight line. That's that bump that caught us. God, do -do. There we go. Right, eight tenths of a second behind. We're catching at the moment. Yeah, we're catching. That was on the limit. Down the inside. Nice move done. Just got to get these S's done and then the final corner and we're going to take home the win. 
Ooh, ooh. I wonder if we've lost out on the clean race bonus after that spin. Right, remind me to put some rear arrow on, on for the next race, please. That's taking home another victory. Nice. Yeah, I've got a bit of a scuff on the front splitter. Oh, yeah, we've got a clean race bonus. Uh, 60 grand. Nice. And we've got the AMG C63. I think it looks better in the blue than the black. Right, next race. Rear, rear arrow. Rear arrow, please. Put some points down for us on that thing. So, Nürburgring. One lap. That new car's 571. So it's almost the same as a GT. Yes, yeah, same amount of power, just a bit heavier. Wow. Okay, let's enter it. Let's hope it doesn't rain. You know what Nurburg rings like for rain. Right, rear arrow. I've already got some on there, so I'm just going to bump it up to 300. Let's actually decrease the performance points. Increase the acceleration. Sod it, let's give it a go. Wow, this is going to be tricky. Nurburg Ring is always a tricky track. Just remember, we've got to complete the lap to win it, so I think that's going to be our focus is survive the lap. And then we can figure out where we are after that. But that is not going to survive like that. God, it looks dark. Smoke ourselves down the inside of that C63. No shit's given. Right, where's that weather radar? Okay, there is weather inbound. Oh, there's a 911 GT1 finally. Finally seen one. An SLR. Oy. Yeah, that weather's coming in, so it's going to start raining at some point. Oh, that E92 got... Oh, it, it survived. I'm back down the inside of him. Through the foxholes. Maximum co concentration. Oh, here's the rain already. At the moment it's quite light, so it won't be making the track too wet at this point. Should be still good grip out there. Being a bit forceful with the AI there. I'm just trying to get past as many as possible before it really starts raining. Oh, like this. Now it's starting to rain. Yep. Yeah. This is where being a ma driving manual also gives its own unique obstacles. As I have to put take a hand completely off and a foot off to change gear. Not to men mention we've got a heel and toe to rev match as we go down as well. GTR. Out of the way, it's got always oh, got good power though. 
go and go around the outside. Yeah, he's backed out of that. That's probably why, because it's very slippy there. Power up the hill. Ooh, I was on the curb there. Started lighting up one wheel. Right, it's getting wet now. Oh, you're, you're louder kink. Right, we're up to fifth. See some sort of Porsche head. You can hear the rain hitting the car is getting heavier and heavier. Oh, it's starting to float now as well. On the grass there. Want to get up into fifth? There we go, into fifth. It's feeling pretty sketchy right now. There we go, nice. Power on, up over the hill. <laughs> Just nudged that guy out of the way. Right, to the carousel. It's getting wet. I'm going to pop out the carousel if I'm not careful. No, we managed to stay in. On the power, come on, come on. Right, is that the rain going? Right, this is going to be a case of finding the dry line. And sticking on it. She's going to make passing even more difficult than it already is at the Nürburgring. Top of the hill, right, turn her in. Nice. There we go, nice. Power up, right. Vipperman, that's first and second ahead. Oh, I can barely see the corners because of spray. Oh, not committed enough to throw it up there. I'm having to follow these guys because I can't even see the where the track's wet or not, where it's dry because I can't see past them. Off the curbs. Oh, the M4 was sideways there. There we go. I can see I'm on the wet side. But we're on the inside. Right. Oh, I'm about to say, be careful with the curbs. Just as I went over those curbs, my usual line, I went, you know what? I need to be careful of those curbs. And it just lit up the wheels. Oh, it's, oh, look how sunny it is now. Ugh. I'll be honest, I'm just holding on at this point. Try and force our way down the inside here. Oh, he's hit me! He just hit me straight off. Oh, wow. Right. Let's retry that one. That was good fun. We've got insane pace, though. Right. Let's get this Mercedes dispatched. Around the outside. That is slippery out there. It is, but we're alive. Oh man. Right. Right, let's get this done. Done 226 miles in this Porsche 911 used it that much all right it's dry at the moment so we need to try and make good progress while it's dry use the flexibility of third gear but 
Don't overdrive the car. God, that Porsche looks good. Oh, panicked so much I actually popped the car out of gear there. Right, here comes the rain. Around the outside of that E46. Schriedenkreutz, dabber brakes, get it turned in, nice. Oi, oi. Carrera GT. Oh, we got up on the curb there. Right, a gaggle here. Going down the foxholes. Pretty sketchy place to be. And the rain starts now through the compression. Oh, that E30. I didn't realise he wanted to come back down the inside there. Oh. Right, R8. Where are you going? Okay, R8 dispatch with. Dab a break. Starting to get a little bit slick. On the brakes, come on, turn her in. There you go, nice. On the power. MG GTR. We're gonna smuggle ourselves down the inside there. Trying to stay on the dry part of the track. Oh, need to run it out there. Shigawara. Head. We oh, slow through there. Gonna just jam the Porsche in that court gap. Right, we're up to fourth already. Now the rain's intensifying. Louder link kink. Just coaster in. Right, power. Right, up the hill we go. Go around the outside here. Is there enough space? Do I have enough confidence in the car? Because I'm going to be close to the edge there. Yeah, there we go. It is raining down here. Right, come on. We can do this. Right, lift off. Bravery corner come in. It's getting pretty sketchy. Yeah. Oh, no. Rear one to the go then. Ooh. Up and over. It's dark as hell here. Oh god. It's definitely wet around the green hill. And the surfaces are ever changing. Weather looks like what radar looks like the weather might be moving on. So into the carousel. We're up to third. Oh we Karatz has popped out this carousel. Can we get traction? It's hard to see where to go with the amount of spray that's coming off them. And the thing is, I know there's going to be a drier line. I can't even see it. Right, we're tucked up right behind Carazza here and Lopez. It's going to be hard to pass through the roller coaster section of Nurburg. Come on, come on, power. I'm on the curb. I had to get out of the power because I was on the curb. Right, into Vipperman. Dan Dare on the brakes. Got the job done. Right, just Lopez ahead now. Stay clear of those curbs. Ugh. Or if you are going to ride them like then, just make sure you're off the power. Oh, God, Lopez is sideways. Right. Down here we go. I'm just having to just follow Lopez here because, look, you can see where it's wetter offline. Right, Brunchen, can we smuggle the car up the inside? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, not quite. Yes, yes, can we? 
He's pushing us. Yes, we've got the job done. Right. Right, now stay on the dry side of things. Oi! Stay away from that curb. Right. Coming into the jump down here. Brakes. Down one gear. Oh! No, she's going round. Oh! That would have ruined the splitter in real life, that's for sure. Right. Easy now over there. Car gets light. Through the Stefan Belloff S's. There we go, we survived it. Right, there's a bit of a gap to second and third. Track is still wet though. It's lovely and sunny now, but you can see the water on the grass. And I'll tell you what, it's not full about grip out there. Right, baby carousel. Keep her down low. She's popped out though. Right, I'm just going to bang third. Try and get onto the Dottinger her here without going all the way around. Of course, we're first now going around the track, so there isn't really a drier line. There's quite a lot of water still coming out the back of the car. Right. Hang on. Let's hope we don't get any aquaplaning. Car's wandering in a straight line. That's just as the tyres are gaining and losing grip. Yeah, it's getting a bit of a wiggle on. Right. I think this is Flansgarten. No, that's Tiergarten, isn't it? I'm going to come off the throttle. Just roll her through. Got 5.5 seconds. Gap. Two seconds. I don't want to throw it away at this point. Oh, you can see it's still pretty slippy round here. There we go. That's going to be the win. Get in. And that's the Porsche menu. No, that's Mercedes AMG menu that we've just done. But that's completed. 1 by 5.2 seconds in the end. Nice. No clean race bonus, unfortunately. So only 40k. And that's an SLS we've won. Wow, nearly up to level 22. Probably one more car and was there. Wow, I enjoyed that. That was good fun. Right, let's see what we're back to the cafe then. We're not a million miles away from completing all the cafe missions. There we go. There's all three of our AMGs. Looking good. Congratulations, you got all three cars. And we've got a four-star roulette ticket. Let's see what he's got to say about them. The AMG collection. So AMG were their own company, I believe, until Mercedes purchased them. When you hear AMG, you probably think of super fast cars, right? Indeed, those three letters become synonymous with high-performance Mercedes. AMG brand was formed in 1967 by two former Mercedes race engineers, Hans Werner Afflecht and Enhard Meschler. Sorry if I butchered that. Started out as a tuning factory dealing with Mercedes race engines. One of their most famous projects, yeah, was the, the Red Pig. Place a rather special engine. 300 SEL 6.8. Base model SEL 6.3 was 226 horsepower, but it was tuned to produce nearly 400. Bloody hell. Car took impressive sec second place at Spa 24 Hours in 1971. And the company developed a huge following from then. In 1999, the company actually became part of Mercedes Benz. Continued to produce. It was only 1999. Wow. Thought it was before then. Nissan GTR collections. What? Oh, yeah, let's let's unlock some GTRs then. Yeah, yeah. Let me just. I want to go collect some GTRs. Right. What cars are we going to need for this then? Oh, let's do our roulette ticket while we're here. You never know. That might give us a GTR. 
gifts four star roulette so what are the options oh a gtr safety car that would be very handy right now and we're not going to get it We've got some pistons and con rods for a aston martin v8 vantage s okay right let's go and see what we need to take part in the next one done lots of all cars all right europe uh deep forest third place or higher with the gtr maximum 700 pps okay so we haven't spent any money on our r32 so we're gonna have to go and spend some money right let's go spend some money gloves are off controllers out right um gt auto first why body this yeah sod it let's let's go with a wide body come on boys nice what color should we paint this i don't want to uh, i love the stock color i have to say but i've seen a lot of people with the same car online so i'm feeling a different color so if you've got any suggestions stick in the chat we'll do it we'll knock it out of the park uh right back to gt auto customize wheels um it's got to be a set of t37s doesn't it really what everybody does on them wider more offset do we go up an inch or stick with 17s we'll go up one inch four grand uh paint yeah so what should we real car paints should we stick with a nissan paint and see what we've got um, and Nissan. Okay, so what we got? Reds, a nice yellow, blues, blacks, silvers, whites. I'm feeling one of those yellows. Le Mans yellow is quite nice. Solar yellow is quite nice. Premium Unlimited Yellow. Let's go for that. So now we need to apply it. So, create a design. A bit weird that we've just purchased the paint and then we can't, we have to go and do this. There we go. Yellow GTR. Two. <laughs> And the fact that I've give, got to give it a goddamn name as well. Right, uh, custom parts. Should we have a look at? Can do a body coloured one or a carbon one. We'll get, this is going to have to be fairly substantial. I think body coloured looks better on there, in the carbon. Rear. Yeah, let's go full diffuser. Oh, I'm liking that. Right, bonnet pins. Nah, let's keep the bonnet nice and clean. Nah, we'll keep the front end nice and clean as well. Oh, look at that yellow roll cage. Yes, we'll go for that. Other light bulbs. Let's get some modern light bulbs in there. Weird touch. Are off center, but then that's going to disrupt the cooling. Yeah, let's go for a smaller, just rear number plate. Oh, gone back. Front grille, what can we do here? Oh, yeah, get rid of the slats. Yeah, sod it. Let's throw it on. So we've done all this, and we haven't even made it perform better. Ah, right. I think we've got to be under 700 p pp. So I think some bolt-ons and some lightness and that should be good for us all right tuning shop so straight away oh no no I just want to add the bo 
Oh, we've already got it. Okay. Oh, okay. We've already purchased it. Okay, so. Soft tyres. Oh, we've already got suspension. Okay, so it looks like we've actually already got quite a bit on here. We'll go better brakes. Better clutch. Won't quite go carbon ceramics. Right, we've actually got quite a bit of performance parts on here. Let's throw on an intercooler. Cams. Yeah. Bore out 400 horses now. Stage 3 lightning. Yeah, let's get rid of some of the weight on this thing. Can we do a stage 4? Yeah. It's not really picking up a lot of performance though. Right, crankshaft. 413 for 15 grand. Well, that's actually better bang for buck than those lot. 639, so we're still behind a little bit on power. I mean, PPs. Do we go slick tyres? Yeah, should we go slick tyres? Sod it, let's go full slick tyres. And what we got here, 418, 442. Okay, so that's definitely 442 horses. 447, 451, 451 horses. Slick tyres, that should be enough. Right, let's go and win some more GTRs. And our Bumblebee. Deep Forest. Yeah. Remember, we've still got to change change gear with this thing. Oh, I could have put nitrous in it. But it's so expensive. Right. Ah, oh, Lucas. Lucas Ordinance. Nice. Right. Yeah, she's pretty fast. There's another wide boy there. Whoa. Wow, the grip. From slick tires though. Wow. It's great until it's not there. Come on, turn. There we go. Nice. Straight six engines, just lovely and smooth. Don't even, oh wow, cannot see, cannot see. There we go. Man, that garish yellow roll cage. <laughs> this is a fast, that's 9,000 RPM. Oh, understeer. Right. What, we're up to 8th. Right, this should be flat out through the kink. Compression. Yep. Easy. I suppose we didn't up the turbo on this, did we? Too late on the brakes there. My friend. Oi. Smug ourselves down there. There we go. Turn. I think as a default setup on this thing, it has a quite a bit of low speed understeer. Wait. 
Right, power. Up the hill we go. Oh, got squeezed there by the uh, Nismo. Forgot what gear I was in there for a moment. Around the outside. Wow, we're up to second already. Oh, it is Lucas Ordnance racing in this one. Nice. Uh, nice little touch there. He's eight seconds down the road, though. Come on. Oh, we've still got three laps left. There we go, let's turn her in. God, she's fast. Ah, oh, Lucas is driving a yellow one just like me. Whoop! She tried to kill us. There we go. This ended up being quite easy. Uh, what we should do is, if we don't unlock the R34 this next one, we'll choose whichever race does look, unlock the R34 and uh, we'll build a nice R34 for the last race. Because I think we've built this up and we've almost made it too easy. Make sure my gear stick's not moving. Oh, almost that round then. She sounds good though. And turn in, or do we get the R35? Oh, miss shift because it'd be nice to try a pa flappy paddle car for a little while. Fourth gear is long. 9,000 RPM, are you surprised? There we go. At least the pit lane's nice and easy to get in here. Final lap. Nice, there we go. Wow, once I got on that, that dirty, those marbles, grip definitely dropped off then. Yeah, boy. Power. This is easy victory. Yeah, I think we need to... Uh,
do R34 or R35? That's the next question. Because I don't think. I can't. I can't I don't know what we're going to unlock from doing this one. Just build an absolute monster of a GTR. Boom. That thing was beautiful. Colour's great. Looks good. Clean race bonus. So that's another 60 grand. That's pretty much what we just spent on the car. We got... Okay, so that's kind of made our decision up, isn't it? We're going to go get the R35. There's level 22. Nice. Carbon helmet. So I think that means that we can change our helmet to our one that we normally run. So let's just go and check. I think it is in... Oh no, it's gear. GT Auto, isn't it? Driving gear. Helmet livery. Open. No, none of them. Ah, there we go. There we go. There's our carbon Vipperman racing one. Right. Um, so, garage. This is 6... 80 pp. What's a new GTR? 578, 87. So, let's go and play with this. Uh, GT Auto first. You know what we're going to do. Why body this? Pull those fenders, boys and girls. God, it looks silly on its uh, stock tyres. What wheels do you put on a GTR? Is the next question. Any suggestions from in the chat? Right. Wheels, wheels, wheels. And what colour do we do this? Do we do it Bayside blue? Like an R34 colour? Um got T37s on oh I'm liking them what about the BBS is down here yes yeah that's what we're going for 20 inches standard size make them a bit wider push out the offset four grand well spent right real car paints um, Nissan GTR colour, isn't it? Blue. Nissan. Bayside blue. And there we go. We'll paint that in a second. Right, custom parts. Going for that one. Like the little uh, up take in the middle. Yep. Yeah, makes it look wider. Rear. Diffuser, yep, sod it, we'll take it. Rear wing. Yeah, we're going full. Yeah, trunk mounted. GTR wing. Bonnet pins, no, because we've got the ducks. Tongue, yeah, we'll have the tongue. Roll cage. Problem is that it encroaches in our view so much. Standard lights, because it's going to be a modern car anyway, isn't it? Rear only. Front grille. Get rid of the GTR badge. No, we'll keep the GTR badge. Right. Opened, created design. Just going to paint this boy. R34 colours. Special colours. Bay blue. Although it's painted the rear wing, which is not what I wanted to do. We like got. I'm just going to paint the wing black again. 
and the others black again so we can't keep the carbon look can we oh, can we put weird tire stickers on it no unfortunately not right close cancel we need to save it close right now let's go make it even faster so how much we spent on it spent a good chunk on it already tuning shop right so go soft tires Stage one lightning. Then we want race exhaust, racing filter, upgraded brakes, brake pads. Do we go fully adjustable on the suspension? Where are we at now? Wow, 674 already. Yeah, 680. That's just bolt-ons. Oh, this thing's going to be rapid. Right, let's take it for a drive. We should annihilate them. Right, Dragon Trail. Here we come. Right. Don't need to use clutch for this one. Go flappy flappy paddles. Changed up too early there. Oh, you can still you feel feel that's definitely a heavy car though. Wow, flappy paddle gearboxes are just a game changer though, aren't they? Look at that speed of shifts. This is not even the Nismo version, so. Come on. Oh, look at that one's in Millennium Jade. Right, come on. Whoa, she's heavy. Felt the weight there. I suppose I've come from an R32 with race slicks on. Got, you got kind of, as I keep on saying, tune your mind into what you're actually driving. Go around the outside, there we go, on the power, whoa! <laughs> Thing was sideways then. Not enough brake. Oh. Wow. Right, why are we shrugging? Can you put uh put minimum weight in lobby settings? Oh, um can you? Uh yes you can. I will Yes you can. So in lobbies you can set what the minimum weight you want the uh, lobby to run to. So I think that's definitely going to open up some more possibilities. Like you've always got GT3 and 4, GT1 kind of cars. But if you want to kind of have your own BOP. And uh, that's... For online racing, that's where those oi, settings will come in. So yes, you can, Dave Paul. Right, down to the hairpin. Wow, was into sixth already. 
Whoa, whoa. No, no, too much power. Sounds just like a GTR though. This Millennium Jade one is gorgeous looking. I think next modification if I was to make one to this car would be maybe to drop some of that weight again. Whoa. Come on, power. There we go. Wow, this thing's fast. That's like warp speed. Oh, but we've missed the break in there, though. There goes our, our clean race bonus. What damage did we do? Oh, oh, yeah, you feel the weight. Right down into the, the chicane, up over that one. Whoop! Got to be awake, haven't we? Our G gears here. Bit too deep on the brakes there. So Swillow just a up ahead. Right into what I call Turkey Turn 8. With the Russian Grand Prix being cancelled, I wonder what race they're going to take its place. There we go, nicely done. Yum. Oh, braked earlier there this time, but evidently still not early enough. Right, what kind of speed do we get down here? Fifth, sixth, nearly 160 miles an hour. That is Ain't nothing to be sniffed at. That there's a leader. Told you this car would uh, destroy these guys. Definitely faster than our R32 that we was using, um, but doesn't have the grip. But then that was on slick tyres, so sounds good on the downshift, though. Whoa, that rear bias power! What kind of times were we doing at this track in GT Sport the other week? I can't quite remember. Because this doesn't feel that far off that kind of GT4 pace of uh, GT Sport. And yet we're in a road car. Faster than straight line, that's for sure. Because we haven't got anywhere Near 153 in a GT4 car. Wow, yeah, she just lights up. Come on. Nice. Look at that fog rolling in. A fog haze. Starting to get used to the R35 now. Shadows are coming in. In here in Croatia, it looks like we're going into the shade of the mountain. Sun goes behind it. Ooh, absolutely nailed that curb then. Right, 1 minute 40.9 that was on that last lap. And fast again on this lap. But we 
were too deep on the brakes there. Whoa. She's got a tail when she wants to. Power. Right, turkey turn eight, just the wrong way. Starting to get more and more comfortable with this car. <laughs> oh, commentator's curse there. Starting to get more comfortable with this car, immediately crashes. Right, last lap, let's make it a good one, shall we? Up through the gears we go. Full power. Thing just keeps on pulling. There we go, nice. Back on the power. go that's fast oh still a little bit deep there and a wild on the accelerator as well <laughs> Come on, turn. Don't crash this time. There we go. More patient on the throttle there. T tried to just power slide it out last time. Oh, too deep into the final corner though. That's going to take the win. Wow, quite a bit of damage on uh, our R34 coloured GTR. Take the win, but we ain't going to get no clean race bonus there. And we've got an R33 GTR now. Now time to go get the R32. Right, what track is it? A Japanese track. It'd be nice to take this thing around to scuba. See how it um, performs there. Tokyo Expressway. Four laps. 700 pps. Let's get it done. Right. Starting off in the tunnel. This is that V6 Sing. Way in the slipstream there. And again. Things accelerating fast. Again, knocking on 200 miles an hour in a second. I was on the brakes way too early there. the inside nicely done right back on the power right Let's see what we can find through here gonna go down the inside of here not quite sure how much grip we're gonna have so we'll take it easy got more grip than I think I was expecting nice yellow R34 Yellow R32 
Come on, down the inside. There we go. That Millennium Jade one's beautiful. Like a pair of R35 decked out in tribute colours to R34s there. There we go. Should be an easy race to win this one. Four laps. Let's just try and keep it out of the barriers, shall we? Power. There we go, cutting our way through. Went into the limiter, click the back of that uh, of Lucas there. So Swillow's out in the lead. That's two hundred miles an hour, 201, 202, 203, 204, 205, 206, starting to wobble. On the brakes way too early there, but well, at least we survived. So Swillow in the Nismo. There we go, we've got that one done. Right, it's a case of just having fun now and getting her to the end. Well, that's six gear through there. Oh, oh that's a full on four wheel slide there. time of day looks beautiful through here like we're in all the kind of diffused light because there's no direct lighting is that mood up there nice hey yeah uh just this is it just in its element right here god she's looking good no extra gears I'm afraid just gonna have to oh, pin that limiter Well, she slowed down for that corner there. It's definitely getting dark. You can now see the headlights are making a usable pattern. On oh, the high beams. Let's put them on low beams, dip beam. Moon is brighter this time around. You can see that just in the sky. like going out for, for a, oh, a very fast joyride wow it's like having the streets to yourself and being like I'm just gonna go for a hoon no there's gonna be no oncoming traffic and no speed cameras Turn, turn, turn. There we go. Wow, look at that moon. She looks lovely and bright up there. Right. Final lap. 
and you can see how it's lighted that in because that's where the sunset is really like that our R34 coloured GTR here blasting through Tokyo at 200 miles an hour it's getting definitely darker now look at all the lights going to put the high beams on got no more gear As late as I dared, go on the brakes there. There we go, nice, nicely done. 13 seconds ahead of the second place, so we've got plenty of pace in reserve. It's 150 miles an hour through corners there. Just grazing the wall there. Right, fast right kink coming up here. Hold fifth, use torque, nice. Yeah. It's basically night time now. Come on, power, there we go. But the moon's moved. Don't know where the moon's gone. Saw it earlier. There it is. It's moving during the race. That's good. Oh, she's slidey. Right, that should be a win. Maybe a clean race bonus? Can't remember any mega smacks into any walls or cars that we've had. That should be the GTR menu complete. Boom. Bayside Blue. R35. Looks good. Annihilated the op opposition. There you go, gold. And I think that's a clean race bonus. Yep. We're we'll back up to 1.2 mil. And that's the same colour that we just painted our R35 in an R34. So good job we didn't buy, I almost brought one of those. Good job we didn't. Right. Let's go on to the next menu. Let's see what the next one brings for us. Yeah, go back to the cafe and speak to Luca. Oh, they, they look nice on some sort of warship. Congratulations, you collected all three. Four-star roulette ticket. Let's hear, hear a bit about the GTR, see if there's anything that we didn't know. Luca is one of the premier sports car brands. And the GTR model was added to Nissan's flagship Skyline family in the 1960s. Yeah, the R31. Well, people call it the R31. Uh, combined with a detuned race car engine. I'd like one of those. Not a race one. An original one. But the cost of them has gone stupid. Like, I remember when I was a kid, they were re relatively affordable. Um, but a GTO caused a huge splash. In 1989, the next generation GTR was released. Which state-of-art four-wheel drive system. This model was known as the R32. Also, uh, proved nearly unbeatable in domestic races and cl considered a true classic. Yep, that's Birth of Godzilla. Its immediate successor was the R33. R33 went to uh, Le Mans and then the R34. These also provided mass proved massively popular with collectors. Cat. Hey, Cat. In 2007, the new GTR was built. Uh, build the world's best performing mass produced sports car. Yeah, I think it moved on combining four wheel drive with a powerful V6 twin turbo. Come on, cat, where are you going? There we go. An iconic styling. Yeah, instantly recognizable as a GTR. 
that's for sure. And GTR's still being improved to this day. I wonder if we'll all be playing GT7 when the new GTR comes out. World Touring Car 700. So, are we doing race cars now? Fisherman's Ranch, a ranch in Sardinia, Windy Mills unlocked from this. Finished top three. Uh, enter the World Touring Car 700 Championship. This championship, as its name suggests, with cars up to 700 pp, will mostly be from GR4s. So make sure you've got your most competitive car. Okay. So this is basically, this is Gran Turismo Touring Car Championship like we stream on Fridays from uh, the guys at Mature Racing Club. These are all GR4 cars really, aren't they? Are we meant to take a, a non-GR4 car and take these guys on or take them on in another GR4 car? It's a wet Nürburgring. rig. Cat, you hurt me now. Although we do have all four seed bounce off, uh, we do have our GR Supra, and of course we've got our livery that we use in streaming on Fridays. Cat, you're licking me a lot here. I'm gonna be licked to death by this cat. Should probably want to jump off when we start using the steering wheel anyway. Right, let's do our roulette ticket and then see what we've got options. Because you never know, we might win a car there. Right, let's roulette it. Let's see what the options are. Four stars. Oh, a Hyundai. Engine submission. So Hyundai or Cash. Hyundai or Cash. Either's good with me. Cash. How much cash? 30 grand. We'll take it. It's about 700 p p but it's 680, so we could probably use this GTR. Oh, it's a championship. Okay. So, where's our, our 640? So let's see. I've not taken a, a, a race car to GT Auto. What can we do to it? Can we wide body a race car? Imagine that. Right, so we can change the wheels, we can paint it, and we can do the livery editor. So let's get our livery from GT Sport, which is not shown on there. Right, okay, let's try this. Uh, Trismo. Right, so if I go on to my GT Sport page and make my livery my library my GR Super livery can we then see it? Uh, car livery so those are all mine okay so no I can't right okay so gonna have to drive it without a livery right what parts can we do to this car? Right, so we can pull it on substandard tyres. We can add a power restrictor. We'll do that because we're probably going to need those at some point on this GT4. Right, we can give it more power. Wow, that's a lot more power and not a lot more PP. Brakes, so it comes on hard tyres. We'll purchase some softs. Fuck it, we'll purchase some mediums as well while we're here. Or we could put nitrous on it. Should we give it more power? Let's just enjoy it. Got it, let's just enjoy it. Oh, but then, do we need some more power? It's a lot more power, that's the only thing. Let's put, put a little bit of extra power on it. What we'll do, we'll stick the big turbo on it and then we can always limit the power 
in the settings. Right. So what we got? Trial Mountain, Lagunas, uh, Lug uh, Catalonia, and then Nurburgring. Okay. Trial Mountain first. GR four cars. Uh, settings, car settings. Let's take some power out of the car. Let's take it down to there. Six, 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 that'll do. Right, gloves on. Let's do this. Five laps in a GR Supra GT4 car. Looks like a doesn't look very race car in, in here. Got normal super dash and everything. This is the first time we've really driven these types of race cars in the game. So again, it's gonna take some getting used to. Cat's kinda in my way on left hand turns can't turn fully on left that's one of those new is it a Genesis get down the inside okay there we go long straight down here Pull in. It's got more power than we do in Gran Turismo Touring Car Championship. Oh, left hand turns are the ones we're going to struggle, Cat. There we go. Up the hill. Audi TT ahead. I definitely feel like there's. This is, as I say, this is. Well, a BS. I run the BOP version. Definitely feels more feel than Grand Turismo Sport in the same car. There we go. Nice. Whether we're going to be fast enough to win this is another question. I suppose if we're not, for the next race, we could always just bolt on some more power. Nice. Oh! Almost went round. I think if that came in wasn't there, we would have. Keep it nice and low there on the power. Careful over the ridge. I think one thing I learned from this car, from Grand Turismo Touring Car Championship, it doesn't particularly like second gear. I try and avoid that in the championship. Or hit the handbrake instead of the flashing lights. Up and over. Right, gonna be hard on the brakes down it. Hey. I put them in the kitchen. Oh Viper on the brakes in front of us. Right, are we catching the leader is the question. Cat, you know you are making this quite difficult to turn left. Oh, 
No, oh, she's getting up. Madam. Miss. Miss, please. Please. Right, third lap. Right, let's chuck it into this. Oh, yes. She's getting down. Go on then, off you pop. Should have gone down to fourth. Right. I'll try and really start pushing now. Now I've not got a cat on my lap. It's a proper gaggle of cars up here as well. Maybe they'll start slowing each other down as well. There's a Toyota Brethren up there. Oh! Nearly looped it round. God, that is a proper gaggle up ahead, isn't it? Got a proper mix of drive trains and types of car there. Oh, clip the wall there. Right, up behind Subaru, who's gone wide. Let's see if we can take advantage of that. Yeah, he lost some good ground there. I have to say, GT4 cars are pleasurable to drive so far. Is that the Swift one? Oh, that's a Swift GT4 car. That looks awesome. It looks more like a rally car, but it looks good fun. Oh, I like that. I want one. There we go. Keeping it nice and tight. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we're having fun. Okay, feeling good. What, well, we're nine seconds behind the leader at the moment with a lap and a quarter left. Go. Getting a nice confidence and flow with this car now. Watch me loop it round into a wall or something stupid in a minute. Get all over that yellow curb there. go right eight seconds behind so it looks like we're gonna need maybe more power for the next race so that's a sub two minute lap there now we're out of traffic On the inside of the Lamborghini here. Yes, job done. Yes. Front two have gone though. Yeah, 
Yeah, 7.4 seconds still behind. Right. Well, you know what that means. Next race, we're having all the extra powers. And this thing should be absolutely rapid. Break when we see the sign on the left. Turn her in, nice. On the power. See, we're still catching the guys, guys ahead, but I just don't think... Fast enough, maybe another lap or so. With the Gollum. Need to spin it out then. There we go. We'll take third. Yep. Yeah. We'll have to take to third, I suppose. Right. We're going to have more power for the next race. Twenty grand, add it to the kitty. Right, next race. Where are we now? Uh, Catalonia. So down that long straight, long straights here, back f front one and the back one. We're going to need that extra power. So we only got eight points in the first one. Right, settings, car settings. We detuned ourselves to eighty-eight percent power. Sod it, we're going to full a hundred horses at a hundred percent performance. Cool. Here goes with the super, then. Right, eight, two, one. There we go. All the power. doesn't immediately feel that much faster I have to say although we went too deep into the turn one although look at that oodles of extra power Try and take a nice tight line there. Get underneath this Ferrari. There you go. Stop behind the TT there. But going to pop out. Get past him. Yes. In fact, this is a track that we was doing only last week as well. Catalonia. It's another one that we know quite well. For, oh, in fact, and the next track, Nurburgring, is where we're going this week on Friday. So, wow, the front end has a lot, lot more grip. Abuse these curbs. Okay, can we go around the outside? Yes, we can. Oh, a little bit of a nudge. Right, 23 seconds behind. Five laps, four to go. Yeah, we was, we was having a fuel save here when we came. It. Oh, if it hit the drainage. Try and go around the outside here. There we go. Come on. There we go. 
too deep. We're ahead. Right, 17 seconds behind. I've got what it was when last we checked. Come on. There we go. Right, right in the slipstream of these pet. There we go, this is feeling good and planted. It feels like you are driving on with slick tires, that's for sure. Right on the back of, I think that's an Evo 10. Oh, nearly ran out of track. Right, nine seconds behind the leader, so we are catching them quite easily. Come on, sorry, up the hill. Oh, understeer, 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 come on, power. Right, let's go down the inside of this 4C. Oh, there's this little Suzuki Swift GR4 car. Loving it. Oh! Oh, boy. Loving it so much, I nearly threw my car off the track. Cars felt planted all the all the time up into that point. Take it that's a little front wheel drive car. Try and go around the outside here. Yeah, we've got the move done. Are you still there though? Gonna try and hang it out, round out the outside. I don't think that's gonna work. Right. Oh, curb upsettled us there. Oh, understeer out, coming out there. Right. Five point two behind the leaders. Two laps left, so it looks like we caught quite a lot initially, but we're now starting to struggle a bit more. Right, let's attack this. Come on, on the dirty side of the track there. Right, so we've got good pace through there because we've caught. Basically a second up there. There you go, on the power. Hard on the brakes. Get it turned in. Guess which back to going the other way. Come on then. Two laps left. and can see the leader just ahead. And then we've got to do this all over again at the Nürburgring. Right, up over the rise. Oh, no, a little bit too deep there. Got on some grass on the entry. Luckily, I've managed to avoid doing a Brendan Hartley and spearing myself off into the barrier there. See, this car feels fantastic at slow, low speeds, which I find a lot of the high-powered road cars just don't. Such, because they've got a lot of power and not a lot of tyre. This car's got, of course, less power, a lot more tyre. Car seems to ride those curbs, like actually physically ride them this time compared to GT Sports. Seems to 
impact the wheel, the wheel moves up into the with the suspension where it, before it's almost like hitting a rock. Right, Gallo here. Oh, it's a Yamanaka. It's got the same car as us. Come on, power. Right, we'll get Gallo down into here. Oh, he's closed in on us, though. Right, try and take the tire line. This feels good. I, I like in how how these cars feel to drive. They feel fun and tight like a race car, but then they definitely feel like there's a nuance to them that once you really get into them, there's performance that can be unlocked. the curb, up, curb on the exit there. I was going to think about comparing lap times to when we raced this last week but then we was doing a half an hour race where we had the fuel save so it's going to be a very tricky one to compare. Whoa. And he threw it away right at the last corner. Right. That's brought us back into contention for the title, I think. 75 grand. Yeah, we're all level on points. Me, Yamanaka and Gallo, all the same points. So, set clean raise bonus. Nice. So, whoever we wins... The final round wins the title. Right. Nürburgring. We know this one. <coughs> With the GP circuit as well. Right. Yes, let's get this done. It's not going to rain here, is it? Right, I'm going to leave the radar on just in case because Nürburgring be Nürburgring. Right, let's win this. Don't know which version of this we're doing in GTTC on Friday, whether it's the one with the 24 hour layout that we're doing here with a GP section on it or not. but. At least there's a couple of new GR4 cars. This one in front being one of them. This one being one that I suppose everybody can have because before you could only have it if you done the survey. Okay. Up the hill we go. Right, 35 seconds behind the leader. Oh, that throw is going to squeeze us there. Right, Audi TT. Dispatched. Next up, Lexus. Cogburn? No, uh, Kasawami. Doesn't look like there's going to be rain because look how beautifully sunny it is out there. Right, fast version of the chicane. Whoa! Didn't have the front end there. To take it at that kind of speed, that's the least. Yes, feels good. Way <laughs> overstep the mark, though. It's 
gap there. Come on. Smuggle ourselves down the inside. There we go. Nice. Right. Towards Flung Platz. I don't think it is going to rain. It looks too good. Right. Flung Platz. Oh. So much grip. The car doesn't take off anymore. Wow. We just absolutely annihilated those GR4 cars. Right, we're up to 9th, 20 seconds behind. Schriedenkreutz, Dabber brakes, back on the power. Oh! My muscle memory of thinking I needed clutch then kicked in and I uh, right foot braked. And then when I tried to left foot brake, my foot was already there. And I was going for the clutch as well. Down through the compression. All up over that kerb. Trying to go around the outside of the BMW. Come on, you got to give us room. There we go. That was quite a good move there. Hung on in there with the BMW. Got the Subaru up ahead. There you go. Dispatched his Al. Who we got? Yamanaka up in the head. And Danny Solis second. Oh, 12 seconds behind. Should be able to do this. Come on. This is probably our cleanest racing round Nürburgring and GT7 that we've done so far. Caveat being that, I think this is the only time we've driven the full track here without it raining. He says that is a hits the ball. Alright, Gallo just ahead. He's our other championship contender. Oh, need to be on the brakes a little bit earlier there. Right, power. Right, Gallo. We need to get past you. We need to catch these boys up ahead. Absolute centre torpedo there. Conga burn. He's past. Wow, look at the shade here from the sun. That looks spot on. Having driven the Nurburg ring in probably about the same time as we are right now, I can com confirm there is a quite a bit of shade like that there. 260 kph. 262. Try down one gear. There's the leader, Yamanaka. Same car as us. Could have probably caught him without all the extra power. Way. <laughs> I was catching him quick then. And we've gone and smashed into the wall. Wow. That was scary. Closing speed there. Nearly died. Went way too fast in there. Wow, got Yamanaka. We've got to catch seven seconds now. Wow. And we've got Danny Solis in the 4C in the way. Yeah, there we go. Right, Vipperman. Here we come. Cats come back. Evidently wants to make my life a bit harder. Ow! Cat! Don't need to use your claws to get up here. Right. Heading down the hill towards Brunchen. Here we are. There we go. Up to the YouTube corner of Brunchen. Break. Turn. Come on. Come on. Turn. There we go. There's Yamanaka. Could have done with being in third there. 
Right, little jump. Whoa! Wow, that caught us unaware. Ah, oh, this is all gone, Pete Tong. Right, Prima. We've cut that one up. Right, seven seconds again now, the gaff. Gonna have to go catch them. Probably a good job we've got all that extra power. So we're gonna need it. Danny Solis dispatched again. Right, come on. Don't know whether the tires feel a bit hot now after all that sliding. Right, there he is. Let's hope we've got good straight line speed down here. Right, 4.3 seconds is the gap. Yamanaka wins this. Well, wins the championship. We are catching him. Is it enough? We've got no seventh gear. Catching him quite a bit now. Still catching. He's on the brakes there. We're not. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Right. Gonna have to retry it. Go in the distance. Got a trophy. Right. Sit down, cat. Right, let's do this right this time. Win this, that's another menu done. Ooh. Come on, power, there we go. He's bumping into us. Cat's repositioning herself and making it difficult for left turns again. Right, just need full concentration. We just need to take home the win here. No mistakes. Just dry the whole track. Bishop there in the Ferrari. Give him the space this time. Gone too deep into there, though. Right, so we don't need the weather radar because we know it's going to be dry. A little bit more conservative through that chicane this time around. Turns to the ones we struggle with the cat at the moment. Right, let's catch this Cayman in it. I think it's a Mustang as well. There we go. Come on, smuggle, smuggle. There we go. Right, that's better. Right, let's go for the win. So we've got 24 seconds to catch to Yamanaka at this point. Flung pats. Oh, no. We've overdone it there, though. Oh, I've just knocked that Cayman off. Wow. Didn't expect to make a mistake there. Right. 
So what's that now? 33 seconds the gap. Gonna have to make it up then. Cat, you're sliding off here. Down the inside of the Mustang, you try to close us down. But we're through. Right, nine seconds to Haywood. Flat out through the foxholes. Gonna go flat out through the compression. Yep. Break down one gear, yep. Oi. There we go. 25 seconds. So God, we've eaten into their lead in just those laps there. Well, those corners there. a bit hard float it in on third smuggle ourselves past the GT86 Toyota Brethren oh just couldn't get on the power don't think we can go around the outside of the Lamborghini there I'll be able to get a better exit though. There we go. Viper and Evo 10 up ahead. Go down the inside of the Viper. There we go. Right. M4. M4, what are you doing? I'm blocked. Can't get past. basically boxed in here come on there we go right 14 seconds behind the leaders now Patrick Blajan ahead Mikhail Hazal there we go in between the two threading the needle right eight seconds to fourth flat out I've hit that curb. I've hit the curb at the bravery corner and I've hit it hard. Wow. That woke me up. Absolutely railed that curb there. No, I did. Right, his Zell's back past us. So that won't stay. Although, look, he's got good traction out of there. Into the carousel, just try and keep at the minimum speed. Power. Wow, 14 seconds behind the leaders and just coming out of the carousel. We've left a lot of work to do here. Right. There we go. Right. Down towards Vipperman. Fourth. There we go, that's nice. Down towards Brunchen. Between gears there, really. Right, Brunchen. Right, we're still eight seconds behind the leader. I think with our mistakes, are we even going to be able to catch him? Remember, we've got to still pass people yet. I'm hanging it all out at the moment, though. For an end, got light then. For an end, got very light. Curses and drat. Right. Yeah, vum vums today. Right, let's try and get this done. 
thing is we have the pace so have the pace so much we just need to stop making silly mistakes around here first corner didn't even make the first corner hit the cat then right right let's get it all together let's nail this come on we can do this there's a new genesis and the bronze and black paint job there for the Schumacher S so, so far not a tidy lap right down the inside Bishop there in the Ferrari Cato TT dispatched right just don't make the mistakes this time As he says, as he goes off at the chicane. Oh, just no way past the Lexus there. Gonna have to go past there then. Right, who's next? Started sliding there. Alright, that's good. That's good. Right. There we go. Sugawara and Taipei. Okay, job's done on those two. We're catching these guys. A rapid rate the knots look at that keep the foot in the viper just hit us oh man viper hit us and we just lifted the nose there been quite a poor lap from us so far and they're running the roadblock just can't get past oh viper what is the viper doing oh fuck you fucking viper Right. Come on. We can do it. Okay. That's a better first corner. There we go. That's better already. Let's try and get this job done. Around the outside of the Corvette should allow us to go down the inside of the Ferrari before he can cut us off. And there we go. Take the TT. A little bit 
deep there, but we're still going. Uh, right. That's Lexus dispatched. Took it careful through the fascia cane. Cayman and Mustang next. The Cayman dispatched. Mustang, let's round the outside. Oh! Oh! No! Wow, that Mustang made that pass very difficult. Right. Let's try and catch them up now then. Chase is back on. Up and over. Just a Cayman there. Looks like the Mustang came off pretty rough out of that as well it's the thing Nürburgring is a difficult track to pass at come on Viper down the inside don't try and close the door on me now right go through this gap that's me forcing my way through that gap. Right, flat out through the compression. Let's just nail the rest of this lap. Swift. Next. Evo 10. Let's stay to the left. We'll take that position. As Hizal and the Subaru already catching him. Right, we're caught him by this point. So we've got absolute horrendous pace at the moment round here. So we just need to not make the mistakes. He says, and he immediately drives right into a wall, and then gets spun round. Oh, you bastard. I stuck it in reverse. God damn it. 22 seconds is the gap now. Right, now this is like the peed off face. That one's gonna throw everything at it now. Right, come on, we've got better pace than you. Move out the way. Sounded like a top lobby spit now. Right, there's Hizal. Gaps down to 15 seconds so far. From 22 after that. Oh, God damn it. Got on the grass there. Thank you, Hizal. You saved my life there. Right, 10 second gap to the leader. Ok, 
Gallo ahead. There we go. All right. I will push you out the way. Runchen, come on. We can do it this time. Don't need the mistakes out. Up and over that curb. Danny Solis, come on. Move your Alpha 4C out of the way. There we go. Right, Yamanaka as the leader. Oh my life. I get into range of the leader and then immediately make a mistake and now I've got the fear scared of pushing the car again there we go better exit oh wow just need to get this done now where we crashed last time. I was going to go Nordschleife all the way then. But that's a victory. That's what we needed. And that is a job done. We're not getting a clean race bonus for that. 32 points, 150 grand, and another 100 grand for, right, 308, F430 or 458, please don't give me a 308, F430, I'm happy with that, nice, my first Ferrari. And take it, we're collecting Ferraris next. Right, back to the cafe we must go. There we go. Got, got Fisherman's Ranch and Sardinia Watermills. Collection of Group B. Oh, okay, then we're not collecting Ferraris. Group B... Rally cars, Peugeot, Sports Quattro, and a Focus. Okay. Okay. I, do we have a rally car yet? All right, America's Fisherman's Ranch. Third place or higher? Right. I don't have a single rally car. Got Willie's Jeep. How many PPs? 700 or less. Oh, God. Willie's Jeep ain't going to be able to do that. To convert a road car into a rally car? An Evo or something like that? And that's going to take cash. Oh, no. There, there's rally car. We do have a rally car. 
but needs dirt tires. All right, let's get go and sort that out. Uh, tuning shop. Dirt tires are very, fairly expensive, aren't they? Extreme. No. Uh, where are they? No semi racing. No. There we go. Club sports. Oh no, they're only five grand. Bolt on some extra power. Might as well. Can't really do much else to the car by the looks of it. So rally cars start with racing tyres. Hmm. Right. Let's try and do these. Third or higher. Two laps. Let's just keep it nice and consistent, shall we? <laughs> don't know how much pace we've got in a rally car. I don't know whether we're on pace, off pace. Well, he's lost it. I've almost followed him into it. Oh, wow. Gear changes sound good, though, don't they? Around the outside, there we go. Right, we're already up to ninth. Right, just in Wong ahead. Oh, that's a big jump. Down the inside, not nothing quite doing it there. One turn, turn. Kind of just driving this by the seat of your pants at the, this point. Don't really know the tracks very well. Oh, yellow flag. Annihilated us, didn't it? D don't think you're going to be getting many uh, clean race race bonuses in these kind of races. Oh, little chirp there. Choo -choo -choo. This is a long track though, isn't it, really? I can't see. That was a full 360. Right, note to self, take it easy over the jumps. Hill, isn't it? Yeah, that's a big jump here. I can't see a thing. All right, that's one lap done, and it took us three and a half minutes. There's a jump here somewhere, isn't there? Oh, 
Oh God! Car did a forward flip there. Dropped us down to fifth, as. Losing more time there. Come on, turn. Where you need a handbrake. This part's part of one of the license tests if I'm, or missions, I think. Some nasty bumps in here. Persia RCZ rally car. Looks like a friggin' Pikes Peak car. There's a jump coming up here now. Yeah, there we are. Oh, what? <laughs> That's nuts. I braked, got the nose down, went over it, the car landed and then just popped back up. dark around here though. I think there's a, only a few corners left though. We need third or higher. Luckily we're in third. I think get these this rally stuff over and done with as quick as possible. Because it is not Grand Tree's most forte at this point. Wow, oh. still got the third, but blimey now. Only 20 grand for that as well. Pike's Peak, Quattro. I think we might go and just jump in that because that looks mo like more fun. At least we can have fun while we're doing uh, doing some of this rally stuff. Right, Europe, uh, Alsace, oh that's on tarmac, there you go, change car, all the way to the bottom, oh we've got to go and buy dirt tyres for this haven't we, right let's go and do that, rally cars that don't come with, uh, that don't come with dirt tyres, nuts, should boost this as well, yeah, it's already got, wow, that's 700 horses, 788 horsepowers, and a thousand kilos. It's going to be hard to hold on to this thing, I think. Right, five laps. Oh, sounds good though. Wow, we're already in sixth gear here. I'm scared of the thing though.
can't see anything. Wow, it's very peaky boost as well. Can't see anything. Oh, yellow flag. That's why, because it friggin' bumps there. Can't see. Come on, turn. Be interested to see what this is like on tarmac. In the next rally. Woken up the cat with all my steering wheel antics. I can't see again. Oh, well, I love there's a wall. There's a jump. Oh. We hit something there. Oh, God. Yep, yep. Still. Sh wow, so much dust coming off these cars. It's up. Oh, I've been hit by AI. Wow, this is like bumper cars. We've completed a lap already. We're actually further away from the leader than when we started. I can't see a thing. I honestly don't know the track either. To the point that... I couldn't tell you where I was on the track anyway. Right, bump. Remember this bit from the Evo 4 or 5 license test around here. Don't know where we go now. Right, there's a bump. Right, so that's a lap. Oh, it can't see anything. Can't see anything. Gone round it again. whole start start of the lap I've got no idea where it goes just because every time I've done it so far I've been behind somebody couldn't see jackal that's the hay bale cats up cats gone cats had enough of this Bump here. Okay, right. Two laps left. Let's try and get this done. Running is really not enjoyable. I can't see anything now. I think, you know what they would have been better off doing is scrapping all these and for the rally content actually just make some stages just some open ended stages that you could 
race on. Oh, fuck my life. See, I can't even get fastest lap at, at this rate. Look at that. Right, seventh. This geezer here's lap done the fastest lap of the race. Looking forward to driving this quattro. Just hated it so far. Like, fuck you. Fuck you. You're telling me this out of the whole game so far. This stuff has been tested. Unless this is a completely different experience on a controller. Somebody neglected this. Oh, that's the door. Bear with me. Right, that's one child home from school. <sighs> right, let's get this done. Right, power. Can't see nothing. Goddamn bumps. Right, this section, fairly enjoyable. Nice back and forth. You can kind of get a good thingy, um, rhythm. But there's this bump here. Which looks like the computer can just go and just f fully send on it. Whereas us mere mortals can't. Another bump there, that's nasty. Can't see again. This corner's a nightmare because of that bump just before the corner. Smack there by Mangano. I can't see. And I was like, oh, there, there you go. There goes the Peugeot. He can't handle it. Come on. There we go. Right, there's another bump down here somewhere. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look how much space they pull out on us, though. They have no fear of those bumps at all, the AI.
Right, at least this is first and second up there with a battle for them now. I can't see anything. There's that bump before that corner. Come on, power. Nope. Power. Power. Oh, didn't see that bump until the last second. Right, finally in the lead. So we shouldn't have anybody blocking our views anymore. Careful of the, those jumps. All right, two more laps. Come on, turn. Thing is, we're going to need to build up a bit of a gap because knowing the rally on this game, there's going to be some point where we just hit one of those bumps and we're going to be spun round or upside down. There we go. Right. Aim straight down here as best as possible. Power, 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 there we go. Slider out, there we go. Right, careful on this gap. Bump. There we go. Right. Last lap. We can do this. There you go. Bump that spit us out there. Good job we built up that gap. There's this bump here. There it is. Spit us out. And now we're down to fourth. Man, lost the victory at the end there. Oh, I'm glad it's over though. Just give me that money and give me that car and let me go on with my life. There you go. Persia Rally Car. That's level 25 now, collector level. Nice. Right. Let's get on to the next one. Let's get on to some tarmac. We'll take this... Uh, Quite true on some tarmac, shall we? And now we want car settings, and we're just going to stick them on the racing hards that they came with. I'm not spending any more money, or 700 or less, okay. We need to detune it as well. Uh, what we're at now, 712. 90% power, there we go. Right, this should be still pretty potent. I 
third place or higher. Come on. Oh, understeer. Wow, the suspension is very spongy. Oh, we're out of gear already. Whoa! The suspension is very spongy. The amount of dive that we get from getting on the brakes, wow. Right, okay, that woke me up. Suspension is very soft. Wants to go back off road. Oh, that was holding on to that then, I was. Oh, Breaking it. A nightmare in this thing. Oh, and the AI's hit us now. Back down to 11th. Oh man. God, this is like a bucking bronco. What right. Whoa. This thing. Right, gonna have to try a slightly different driving style of this thing. It's like an absolute weapon in a straight line. But it's like a jelly car. Nose just raises up as you get on the power. Braking is not so bad as long as you're in a straight line. Try and brake in anything other than a straight line, and there you go. Destroying the track. Don't know whether this is a rally car thing or a quattro thing. God, it makes it difficult to drive. It's an absolute missile on a straight line. Bloody hell, this thing. Get this up Pike's Peak. Yeah, look at the AI. Has a lot of dive when he gets on the brakes too. Starting to get used to it a little bit more, but wow. If you haven't do any lots of races with decreasing radiuses with this car, Whew. rip, arena. Out of gears. Yeah. 
Yeah, you just need to keep this car. If you're on the brakes, you're going straight. Don't try and do anything else. There you go. Braked and turned at the same time there. And we've just got almighty tank slapper on. It's understeer as well there. Power. Surprise me if they can outbreak me down there. Cool. This thing is fast though, out of the corner. Look at those headlights just lighting up the interior of the car. That's it, I'm out of gear. This is where I wish I'd upgraded the headlights. Can't see much at all. Definitely can't see braking references, that's for sure. See, I've got used to the car a little bit more though. Right. I can see there's a banked corner here where it goddamn is. Oh, could actually see the curb. Could see the fence. I thought the fence was a curb. Lucky there with a the 360. There we go. Right down the hill. Spot our breaking point. But this would be fast in hairpins consecutive hairpins but I think with decreasing radius that thing is awful but that's a win got a clean race bonus ground I don't know how we managed that and I got a focus rally car cool that's level 26 nice I think we're gonna go and see what what the uh, next menu is and then we'll probably call it a day right cafe we go go and see Luca there we go that's some rally cars never will I do that bit again four star roulette ticket I think we'll do that before we log off you know what I'm not even interested in the rally cars because it that bit just put me off it so much. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Just get me out of here. Collection of the Ferraris. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, so if we had got the 458, we would have got F12 Berlinetta. Really want that car. Okay, um, let me just see which one's, I'm a sucker for a Ferrari V12, we'll do a roulette ticket in a second, right, it's all in Europe, 
uh, Catalonia, Majorian, Dragon Trail. So we won't do that one. That's the one we want to do. 700 PP and it has to be a Ferrari. Or less. So let's upgrade this one. Now. For when we play again. Next. So. Not tuning shop. 700 PP. We're just under 600. Can we wide body a 458? Four, uh, 430 we can <laughs> fuck it let's do it I want some BBS alloys on it we'll get some BBS alloys we'll go racing hards and then we'll work out the rest from there come on then go like challenge to Charlie kind of spec on this Got to be some BBS. I know what ones I want on it. BBSs. Like that. Yes, that's what we want. Nice gold. Right. Can only stick with 19 inch ones. Go wider tyres, wider wheels, wider offset. Fill those arches, please. We're going to stick with standard paint. Carbon front, carbon sides, custom wing, right, how high is that one? Yeah, we're going to go full, full attack. No, they're just too big they are. Full size wing. God, it needs to be lowered. Right, racing items. Yeah, we'll go full bonnet pins. Tow hook. Yeah. We're going to leave light. Go UK rear. Right. Let's make this faster. 700 pp. So we know what we want. We want racing hards. We want to lower it. And a, just a couple of little performance bits. We'll see what pps that takes us to. And then we'll do the roulette ticket. Then we'll lock off. Right. Racing. Let me use the controller because it's quicker. Oh. There we go. Sorry. Cursor got stuck. Right. Racing hards. That takes us up to 657 already. Right. We're going to do first lightweightness. 668. And then we're going to go over to racing. Racing excitancer. Racing there. Racing pads. Racing brakes, um, fully customised suspension, new clutch and flywheel, and then race computer. So 549 horses, 690 pp, there or thereabouts. Cool, let's do our roulette ticket and then we'll get bouncing. Let's see, we've got four star roulette ticket, and um, we're gonna get. Oh, an NSX GT3 car, I'd take that. I really like that. Not gonna get it. Got a Bugatti ticket. The invitation to a Bugatti, does it say? They do expire, so should we just have a quick look what it is? What Bugatti can we buy? We've only got 1.3 mils. Uh, Aston Martin, Pagani, Bugatti. Uh, let's see, we can buy the Veyron for two millionos. We don't have the money. Right, so 
I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, I think we've already got one like so far, so another one would be uh, muchly appreciated. But until then, goodbye and have a good day.